And so God created us for community. We need one another. Um, the Bible reminds us, James, that confess your sins to one another and you will receive healing. Confess. In other words, have a conversation about those deep things in your heart. Because every time you bottle them up, what happens is you get ulcers. You get headaches. You get sick. Healing is a process. It comes when you are in a good community of people who are able to enable you not to become dependent like she told us about some people who are happy to be depressed because of the care. You see, unless you want to be free, you can never be set free. Unless you are willing to be free. And every time Jesus walked on the earth and he saw somebody, some people, he asked, are you willing to be free? So get up. In other words, he gave them the opportunity to want to be well. So do you want to be free? If you want to be free, I believe you will get help. And freedom is not a one-time thing. It's a process. It's a process of life. It's a process of life. I believe in miracles. God can heal you even if medicine has said no. But at the end of the day, you are going to find another problem in life. It's going to happen. We live in a broken world. And we are always going to need help each and every day. And so I think... If you are finding some problems mentally, don't be afraid to seek advice. I know there's stigma on the street, olimulalu, things like that. But don't live in fear. Don't live in fear. There is help. Help is available. And the earlier you seek help, the better you're going to be. And you know why? We want you to be in good shape mentally because you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. We have the mission of God that we have to be proclaiming each and every day, living it out. And so we need to be healthy. As you speak the word of God, as you preach the gospel, you need to be of a sane mind. We have the mind of Christ. Seek help if you're finding that you have some problems that you cannot overcome on your own. Seek help.